What's up guys this is Ved and today we are going to learn a little hack about Sublime Text 2 well it's my favorite text editor and we are going to learn a little about gen coding so for that we have to do first uh, we have to install the packet manager for that uh, I have to go to this website which is open in my okay here we are so you have to go to this website sublime.vbond.net uh, slash installation and if you are using sublime text 2 you have to copy this python snippet or if you are on sublime text 3 you have to copy this so as I am using sublime text 2 I am going to copy this one ok so it's copied now and in my sublime text 2 uh, I am going to open my console you can do it by go to view and show console console and the console is right here okay so I'm going to paste uh, that Python snippet and press enter and it will execute okay so it is asking me so, uh, that please restart sublime text to finish installation so let's restart it okay so it's installed now once again uh, okay the next step is you have to download this file okay like it's downloaded downloaded in my hard disk uh, 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 uh. okay here it is so I'm going to copying it and I go back to my sublime text 2 and preference browse packages and it will open a new file manager window as you can see so uh, in sublime text 2 there is a folder name installed package I have to paste as you can see that the file is uh, already here so I am not going to pasting in it so if your folder is empty you have must have to paste this uh, file okay so once the file is uh, uh, once you paste the file you have to uh, go to control shift and p and type install and press enter so as you can see in the bottom okay there were no package available for installation maybe there is an error loading repositories <coughs> and after some time it will pop up uh, uh, and another okay as you can see these are the packages which can make your uh, sublime text 2 or sublime text 3 or uh, a really good editor so uh, since we are talking about the gen coding we have to install the emit uh, uh, let me tell you that emit is already installed so it is not going to sh show in here but uh, you have to type emit and after that click on the first option you have so I am going to show you how I can uh, save my time or you can save your time while you are coding something for HTML and CSS uh, since I am going to uh, show very few things and after that I will give you a link of cheat sheet from where you can learn each and every command about the gen coding so uh, if I want to uh, kick start my project I don't have to I don't want to type uh, this boring code uh, again and again so, uh, to kick start I just have to type this uh, uh, this mark and press enter as you can see it's here okay under body what uh, what if I want uh, uh, nav and then uh, an unordered list and after that three list item let's see uh, we are going to see the option I mean see the how you can uh, create nested or child menus with emit so uh, for that I have to type ul is greater than uh, sorry nav is greater than ul and ul is greater than li and after that 
and one more thing let me tell you that if you are going to write gen coding you don't have to give a single space in your command uh, like here if I'm going to put a single uh, space bar it will view the entire code so uh, you don't have to give any uh, space bar space and all so after that I have to pay, uh, press the tab button and after that the code will be here and bang as you can see the code is here what if I want an another nav menu okay with an unordered list with three or five list items let's see bam as you can see it's I think it's really time saving at least it's for me don't know about you guys okay so it was an option of uh, child and the second option was uh, the multiplication okay what if I want to write a uh, long is uh, long code let's see an option of group if I want a div tag okay I don't have to give spaces and header okay and uh, after the header I want an unordered list and after that and list item I should say three list items with anchor tags oh uh, and after that I want foot apps also and after that and paragraph tag let's see after hitting the tab button what it's gonna uh, generate for us BAM so as you can see that it's really time saver okay uh, and if you are going back to the Google and uh, uh, do a search of our uh, Emmet mm, cheat sheet so the Emmet.io which is the official website of Emmet uh, uh, having a, a really nice documentation and a really nice uh, cheat sheet from there you can learn each and everything about that so this is the cheat sheet document from here you can uh, uh, learn the coding styles uh, or should I say gen coding styles for both HTML and CSS so this was how you can use the Emmet gen coding style in your sublime text 2 or 3 and uh, once again if there is any problem please comment it below and we will sort it out thank you for watching and please subscribe this is Wade bye we'll meet in the next video